about baseball through whiskey. That's the mission behind Field of Dreams Whiskey Company. And here to tell us all about it is former MLB pitcher and founder of the company, Drew Story. Hey. Drew, what's going on? Thank Drew. you so much for having me. Welcome home. Yeah, this yeah. is great. I mean, you already had the party house. Now you bring the party to this house. We appreciate mm -hmm. it. Yeah, you know, that's that's what I'm here for. It's all about customer service. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so you got to tell us about this company yes. and how and why you started it in the first place. Yeah, so I, I was a big bourbon collector throughout my career and realized that I was probably overpaying for good stories. Mm. And, and, you know, whiskey with wines or anything else, everybody wants to sip with a story. So a buddy and I just kind of came up with the idea about six years ago of, like, if we were going to tell a story, how do we do it? And came up with the idea of using the, the corn from the Field of Dreams movie site and then kind of paralleling it with baseball numbers and, you know, kind of combine it into, like, just a feel-good product and using the most famous corn in the world. Overpay now, to tell story. I don't like T-shirt. Love that. We have a thing about T-shirts. Yeah. Yeah. Slogans. Yeah. Slogans. That's it. That's, That's it. it. It's all about tags. <laughs> How would you describe that Field of Dreams taste, like yes. the feel, the taste of this drink? Yeah, so from a canned cocktail standpoint, uh, I wanted something light. Because mm -hmm. uh, obviously, a lot of times when we're watching a baseball game in the summer, it's hot and humid. So mm -hmm. and, and sometimes it can get sugary or heavy with a beer or something like that. So I wanted something that you didn't feel guilty taking down a few of them. So we're, you know, just a solid ABV level, but, you know, nothing too crazy. It's an Arnold crazy. Palmer, uh, you know, profile with a touch of ginger at the end. So I wanted it mm -hmm. well balanced that, uh, you know, you're going to get the, the sweet taste of the corn whiskey in there mm -hmm. without the bite. I like it. You know, there's so many people, especially big baseball fans out there, who dream of getting to the field of dreams. And now you actually make this from corn from the field of dreams. Tell us about that process a little bit. Yeah, it was uh, it was really interesting because I assumed they were doing something with it. As I mentioned, so famous mm -hmm. and uh, just got on Google and figured out who owned the, uh, the facility and then got in touch with the farmer. And he said, I just take it in town and sell it like any other corn. I'm like, I think I got a good idea for you. Wow. And so developed a great relationship with him. And, uh, you know, a lot of semis of corn. So every every kernel of corn from the movie site last year, all the maize and everything uh -huh. you saw on TV is either in a barrel or in these cans. You're like wow. the corn man. <laughs> it, 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 we joke and call it the corn empire. The to build corn empire. empire. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Oh, man. Ooh. Okay. So when you think of of just the, the, the atmosphere that these could create, like where, where, where do you see these popping up for people? Just like watching the game, like where, where do you feel like you see these popping up? Yeah, I, I think the versatility of it is, is key, right? Like I said, mm -hmm. if you can drink it in a hot climate, you know, mm -hmm. and it's not always the most comfortable thing to have a drink when mm -hmm. it's super hot right. out. Um, you know, it's that, it's boating, it's golfing. You know, like I, I think golfing is a, you know, I'm a golf guy, so yeah. I want to make sure and cater to my own needs there. Absolutely. But uh, yeah, watching the game or whatever, it's just something that, it's not going to weigh you down. You You've know? had so many accomplishments in your life. When you picked up your first can of this, what was that moment like? Oh, it was, you know, a year and a half in the making. I know it takes a long time for a lot of people to have a product out, but it was, especially in a realm that I have no experience in. So it's been mm -hmm. a crash course for me to learn the business and, you know, how to find labels. And, like, you know, on paper when I started it's like take this corn and right. then distill it. It's right. pretty simple mm -hmm. from 10,000 feet high but as you get in the weed. <laughs> You're like wait. That's yeah that's... there's a lot of weeds that you gotta split you there. You know but... what's super simple is, is family shenanigans. You've been a part of this Wish TV family for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah I'm a, I'm a repeat offender here. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yes. I, I used to spend a lot of Friday nights here. Uh, I've done plenty of fake weather reports here. Really? Uh, none of them effectively but mm -hmm. uh, nice. yes I, I remember the days sitting over here with Debbie and Mike and then dad's over there like it's it brings back a lot of memories being here now oh, that's now, so now Drew as I sample this uh -huh. uh, an another product coming out next year yes so we're gonna our, our main our flagship is gonna be you know whiskey bottles okay. so um, well, well our first bottle release will probably be out around opening day and we're gonna do that at 89 proof because that's the year of the movie Ooh. Um, so and who doesn't love opening day real quick go ahead take a sip mm -hmm. there we go what is it talking to you hold on is it talking to you what to say? They will come, Ray. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's very I love well done. it. Well, listen, you are always welcome here. Congratulations. Field of Dreams Whiskey.